Hello, welcome back to another coding tutorial. And in today's video, we're going to be making this beautiful moving stars. So if you're interested, let's get started. First, what you need to do is that you need to create a star object. So you can do that by first creating a file called star.js. This is going to be going to be the file where we're going to write our star class. Um, before we start writing a class, let's go to index.html and link the file. So all you have to do is scroll down to this line, copy and paste it, and then change the name from sketch to star. Okay, so once our file is linked, let's go back to star.js. Okay, so the class is going to be called star. And in the class star, we're going to have a constructor function. And within the constructor function, we're going to have two variables. The first one is the radius. And then the second one is the angle. So the radius is the distance away from the star to the center point. So I'm going to name it this.r. And I'm going to give it a fixed distance at 150. And then as for the angle, I'm going to set it at zero to begin with. So it's going to be at a zero degree. Okay, so two methods that I'm going to write, the first one is going to be update. And then the second one is going to be display. In the update function, this is where I'm going to convert from polar coordinates, radius and angle to Cartesian coordinates x and y. And I have made another video on how to convert all that. So you can check that out if you want to review or you want to learn more. Okay, so all we need is um, we need two equations, which is x equals to r times cosine of angle and also y equals to r times sine of angle. And the reason that I have to put this dot in all of this is because I'm writing a class right now. Okay, and then in display, what I'm gonna write for now is that I'm gonna create a function. I'm gonna write a function ellipse and I'm gonna have its x and y to be at the location that we just created and then give it a size 10. All right, so now that we started our class, let's try and see if it works. Go back to sketch.js and then we're gonna create an object and I'm gonna call this object S. And S is gonna be a new object of the class star. And in the draw function, we're gonna call the two methods that we wrote, which is update and display. There you go. So what you see on the screen right now is a tiny circle here of the size 10 in diameter, right, which is what we wrote. And um, it is at 150 pixels away from the origin point at 0, 0, What we need to do is that we want this point to be at the center of the canvas. So we can use a translate function to move it to the middle of the page and give it the arguments width divided by two and height divided by two. Okay, let's write 12 stars. Instead of the variable s here, I'm gonna delete everything with an s. Um, I'm gonna create an array for my outer ring. I'm gonna call it outer. And then I'm also going to create another variable called outer num. And this is going to keep track of the number of stars in the outer ring. OK, so I'm going to use a for loop to loop through the number of stars. And then I'm going to populate the outer array with new star object. And also in the draw function, I'm going to also create another for loop to do what? To call the functions on all of the star object. OK, let's play. All right, do you know the reason why there's only one circle here instead of 12, even though we are trying to draw 12? 
It is because in our star class, we gave it a fixed angle at zero, right? And so right now, there are actually 12 circles being drawn here, but they're all at the exact same position. So instead of zero, let's give it a new parameter called angle. Okay, and back to sketch.js, what we need now is another array called outer angles. And this array is gonna keep track of all of the angles for each of my stars. To calculate the angles, the equation that we need is gonna be two pi divided by outer num, right? So this equation here basically says out of 360 degrees, right, or two pi radians, and the number of stars that we're gonna have, calculate what is the angle between each of the stars. And then we need to not forget to multiply it by i, right? Because each of the stars will have a different angle away from where angle equals to zero. So once we calculate the outer angles, now we need to pass it in to our star object. Okay, I hope that's correct. There you go. So now we have 12 stars that are at an equal distance away from the center. Let's create our three stars in the inner ring. So now what do we need? We need the same structure, right? So we need the inner array. We also need a variable to keep track of the number of inner stars and then also another arrays to keep track of the angle. The thing that makes it different between the outer star and the inner star is the distance away from the center point, right? So if you come back to star.js, that is this.r. Right now, all of the stars that we create have the same distance fixed at 150. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put in a new parameter, and this parameter is gonna be a Boolean variable, right? So basically, every time that we create an object star, I'm gonna tell it whether this is an inner star or this is an outer star. If it is an inner star, then you put in true, and if it is an outer star, then you put in false. So once we have that, we just have to write a conditional statement. If this inner equals to true, then give a radius of, let's say, 75, or else you give it at the same, this dot r equals to 150. Okay, so once we go back to our sketch.js file, in the outer star objects, what we need to add is that we need to add false, right? Because these are outer stars, not inner. All right, so now we just have to do the same thing for the inner stars. So we can copy and paste this for loop and change the outer part to inner. Make sure you change all of them. And don't forget to change from false here to true because now this inner should be equal to two, true. All right, in the draw function, you also want to loop through all the inner stars, right? And also call the update and display function. There you go. So now you have all the stars drawn on the page. Two last steps that we need to do. The first thing is that we need to move the inner stars. How can we do that? So if we want to move the inner stars, we need to do what? We need to change the angle location, right? Right now, the angle is fixed at this point, this point, and this point. So we want to change the angle of the inner stars by a specific constant. And so what I'm gonna do is that 
I'm gonna create a new variable called let's call it delta and I'm gonna give its value equals to 0 0.03 I don't want it to move too fast and then in the draw loop in the for loop here before update and display I want to loop through all the angle of the inner stars and change it by delta right so now we're moving the circles by changing the value of the angle let's try it okay so now the inner stars are moving the last piece that we need to do is to connect all of the outer stars with the inner stars right so all of those 12 stars each one of them has to connect to all of the inner stars here so basically we need to draw a line between x and y location of all of the outer stars to x and y location of the in three of the inner stars so we can do that using a nested loop okay so we're going to loop through the outer stars first And then we're going to loop through the inner stars. Make sure you use a different counter variable name. Then we want to draw a line. And the line will be between the outer stars, x and y location, right? And the inner star x and y location let's try that there you go um, okay we can go back to the star class and then comment out the circles so now we just see the lines you can still play around with this animation by changing the number of the stars, what if we do 15 and 5? And then you can change the distance between the outer ring and the inner ring to the center point. You can change the color of the background. You can play around with it, um, but this is pretty cool. What if we actually move the outer stars too? Let's see what that would look like. Oh, because it's moving at the same speed, that's why um, that's why you see what you see here. Hmm. Oh. That's pretty cool. That's it for this video. If you like what you just saw, please be sure to subscribe and let me know what else you want to see. See you next time. Bye.